Welcome back to EducateTubes.com. My name is Sipski, your host. Last time I showed you how to build one of these uh, audio speaker from uh, AC to DC audio speaker. I want to expand on that. I actually built one, two, three, and of course the, the one that I show you, four. Now, what it's, this mean is that do not throw away your audio system speakers. See, these are um, systems that I bought uh, about seven, eight years ago, it was broken. I turned it around, converted it into a uh, portable DC speaker. This one was an AC speaker. I converted it into DC speaker. It now is an AC and DC speaker, right? I'll explain to you later on what I mean by DC uh, speaker. Here's another one. Okay, this one I bought from some uh, local store. Give me a dud, but still, I was able to convert it into a, um, a DC speaker. It's actually rechargeable as well. Here is the one I show you uh, on the video. This one is just very retro. Pretty much took every pieces that I found, this, the speakers, uh, one, two, three, and get it, uh, put it together and got it to work. All right? Now, the cool thing about these speaker, hi, kitty. That's my cat there. And the th cool thing about these uh, four speakers is that, and this is a key here, they're all a material that a lot of people would have just thrown away uh, because they found it not useful. But I'm going to show you actually, it is probably the most useful um, thing you want to keep, these speakers. And I'll show you, you can convert these speakers into a very powerful, useful um, audio sound system you're ever going to enjoy creating. Now the reason for that is, look at this, all these here you can see, I have have all these uh, um, batteries in front of me okay these are a lead acid battery these these are on my from my uh, electric bike it was actually you know winding down it doesn't hold enough charge for reaching uh, 12 volt but maybe around 11 ish uh, volt it, but it's still useful for, for my speakers so I kept them and now it's gonna, gonna be used uh, for these speakers it has over hundreds of watt of power in here so why not keep it right instead of you know, recycling in a sense that give it back to the recycler. I don't know what they're going to do with it, but I know exactly what I'm going to do this, use this for. I'm going to be able to use it for my speakers, hook it up, and it will last for hundreds of hours. Here's another one. This is from the halogen uh, lamp light that I got, and I actually mod into uh, a flashlight as well. But as you can see, you can, there's a positive negative terminal. I can hook it up to the speakers. This is a 6 volt. This is a 12 volt. Here's a smaller one. This is also a 6 volt. This is also from the halogen lamp light, a smaller one, but it also works. So there you have these lead acid batteries that's rechargeable, right? And you can hook up to your uh, audio uh, speaker. Now the cool thing is it's not just compatible with um, 12, 6 to 12 volt uh, lead acid rechargeable batteries. It is also uh, compatible with lithium. Look at this, this is a lithium from my uh, laptop, right? So instead of throwing away, I was able to uh, power my audio system. Now the, the thing about this is this is a 3.7 volt. You might have to connect two of them in, in series to get uh, 7.4 volt, That's, and it will work. Now, if not, you can get one of these um, battery, which is, this is my camera battery, by the way. This is a 7.4 volt, and if you look carefully, this um, is 4,000, 50 milliamp hour, very powerful battery. It will give you over seven, uh, 30 watt of power. So let's say one of these speaker will last for 20, 30 hours on just this battery alone. And the cool thing about this um, lithium battery, especially this type of uh, battery, I built this um, wireless inductive um, charging unit, right? And I was able to just plug it in like this and now I don't have it set up, but you just slide it in and it will charge this um, cell uh, batteries. And if you connect it, maybe you build a power unit, uh, two of them connect in series, you can now power your uh, audio system for hours. Lastly, if you're not you know, fond with these, anything you want to touch on these lith uh, lithium or lead acid, you can move towards the um, alkaline, right? You can use a six volt alkaline battery. It's a bit more expensive. I wouldn't recommend using alkaline because they're very expensive. There's only one time use. You'd rather go with lead acid uh, rechargeable batteries or the um, 
lithium rechargeable batteries. They're much more um, environmentally friendly type of batteries. Whereas this one, uh, this is alkaline battery used once, right? But however, I had uh, videos on how to, once it drains out, you can actually still use it for solar light, right? If you have uh, those solar uh, light out in the, uh, in your field, like in your um, backyard, you can still use it to as a rechargeable battery. But anyway, that's another story. Okay, so if you connect this in um, eight, six, I see, sorry, four for six volt, six or eight, you can get from six to 12 volt, you can actually power these audio speakers. So even alkaline battery works. So these throwaway speakers that most people throw it away, it's actually more powerful than the, the type of speaker that's now available because it's able to connect to any of type of the battery that I, that I can find. Lead acid, 6 to, eight, uh, six to 12 volt. Lithium, 7.4 volt or, uh, or up to 12 volt if you can connect it another one. So it would be 11 point something volt. So two of this lithium or three of this lithium battery. And the alkaline, you connect uh, four 1.5 volt or up to eight, uh, 1.5 volt, that gives you from six to 12 volt. Or you can just connect to this large uh, alkaline battery. This is, um, uh, what's that, six volt battery. And it will all work. Now let me show you right now what I mean by this, okay? It's really cool and I, you know, I wish you were here and I would actually show you my four inventions or four mod that I made with my audio speaker that most people would just throw it away without thinking about it. Okay, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna hook it all up and you'll see the kind of sound that you'll get out of this. Okay, so I'm going to start with a simple um, speaker that I built. This is the retro type of speaker. It's like, you know, everything I can, can salvage, I, all these three speaker. Okay, just hook it up. You can check the upper right hand corner on how I built this one, right? Let's show you. Now, right now it's hooked up to this speaker, but there's no battery. So here I have this um, lead acid battery, remember from the um, electric bike that was going to be um, thrown away but or recycled but we now can use it it uh, only can uh, hold up to 11.5 volt right but watch this so here you have this positive negative term and you hook it up okay in fact I could hook up directly to the battery watch this make sure you put a positive on the positive and a negative on the negative and there we go So now as you can see, it's power with a 12 volt battery. Works really well. Okay. Now you can also use a six volt battery here. This is a six volt battery. You can use that as well. Let me show you. So here I have a another lead acid battery. Let me show you. And I hook it up. Now make sure you put in the right positive with a positive. Okay. Make sure it's positive. There we go. and negative on the negative terminal. See that? Okay, now this is not the best speaker that I built. I'm gonna show you my other one that I have, which is, which is better, okay? So that you can see, I just wanna show you that this hook up to 12 or six volt battery will work. Let's try the other speaker. Let's turn this off. This is not the best speaker I built because it doesn't have the nice base. But let me show you the one that actually is pretty good. This, let's proceed with this one. This one's a cool one actually. I like this one. Okay. This one here. I don't know you can see it. Let's zoom in or show you. All right. So there, the reason it's cool is because you can actually put your um, smartphone right on it, like that, right? Okay, and so let's connect it up. So the, let me just show you quickly. So you can put your uh, smartphone or uh, MP3 player on slide on here, right? There is a positive and negative terminal on the back here that I wired. Now, it is also a AC connector as well, but do not 
connect AC and DC together at the same time, and this is exactly shock hazard, you can do one or the other. Neither you do a DC direct connection to your battery, or you do an AC connection, so here's a plug for it. But I'm not going to do an AC right now, most likely this is for camping. So, what we're going to do is hook up the battery, so let's do the 12 volt first, right? Connect the positive to the positive, make sure you do it right. Oops, let's do this here. Okay, the, the only thing is I would not recommend, um, you know, this is for, not for kids, this is only for those adults who know what they're doing with the batteries, okay, so you just be careful, but if these are 12 volt, they can be uh, extremely dangerous if you don't know what you're doing. So positive here, positive. And negative. Now I even have um, a little clip here to protect myself, right? Just in case you know there's a short out on it. So you gotta make sure you have some kind of a, a knob of, to close it in, so that you don't have an open uh, terminal. So there you go. And it's now on. Now I'm gonna plug in the audio. The audio jack. Okay, plug it in. And play. Turn on. There we go. Remember, this is powered by a um, 12 volt lead acid battery. I could hook it up to a lithium or alkaline battery as well. It doesn't have to be lead acid. It could be between 6 to 12 volts. That's the convenience. So, this is an idea for camp, right? Camping. Or, you know, in some kind of survival wilderness uh, situation where you recharge the lead acid battery through solar and then you're able to play, play your music still. And because this is a um, because this is a 12 volt um, battery, it can hold hundreds of watts. You can really pretty much run music for close to hundreds of hours, really, depending on how many voltage that this speaker uses. I believe this is between um, 10 to 15 watts, right? Hour speaker, I'm not sure, but anyway, it can last for over 100 hours, just depending on what kind of wattage you have on your speaker. But this one will last close to 100 hours. Pretty cool. Now this this one as well is very similar. This one also has. Okay, so this one also has an AC, right? Connected to AC uh, adapter, 12 volt adapter. And, but it's also here. You have a, a negative and positive terminal to hook up to the battery. It takes um, six to uh, 12 volt battery as well. Could be lead acid or. Um, um, lithium or alkaline okay so these speakers also works and even this one here that I first built also will work as well so very very um, convenient I mean I would not recommend it for home use but definitely you know for outdoor uh, use like in the, during the camp or at the backyard you have your um, lead acid battery or a portable one like this one here Right? Or you can use a lithium battery like this one here, camera battery, hook it up to the positive negative terminal, 7.4 volt will work. Or if you're too lazy, you can also use the alkaline batteries, hook it up in a series of four, six or eight, okay, like these one here, you can see that there. Okay, so there's four of them, you can hook up four together in series and you'll get um, a 6 volt, 9 volt, or 12 volt, really is up to you, but really minimum of 6 volt. Now, these system actually runs a 12 volt, but even a 6 volt will work. It's the only thing is that when you turn on the bass, it might be as a loud, right? Or it will have this kind of like um, 
a humming effect because it's, it's not powerful enough. So I would say go with the 12 volt, right? But if you had to, have no choice, use a 6 volt like this one here. Okay? Thanks for watching. So do not throw away your, um, your speakers. You can actually mod it into something very useful, a portable audio system for camping uh, and for outdoor backyard um, music listening. All powered by uh, batteries. And then the battery itself can be uh, charged using solar panels. Cool. Thanks for watching educate2.com.